Hello it is Flores, thanks for joining us again and welcome back to another informative video on our YouTube channel. On today's episode, we are going to walk you through with regards to the reason why the African continent has struggled recently in meeting up with the needs for the COVID vaccines across the continent. In this episode also, you would have noticed recently that there's been a scramble across the continent with regards to this particular issue and more importantly, the COVID-19 issues has exposed the African continent in terms of the pitfalls that the continent faces if the continent does not invest in terms of research in tackling different areas and also to meet up in par with other continents around the world in meeting the needs of its citizens in times of crisis. So without any more delay, we should just go straight into it. In considering the African continent, African countries are on the bottom of the priority list for COVID-19 vaccines, strengthening the urgent needs for the continent to develop the capacity to make vaccines or at least contribute to global vaccine development to ensure that its citizens are prioritized in future pandemic. Nations are built during times of crisis when leaders and citizens come together as a common force. Many of the technologies that have shaped the world have resulted from investment by nations, mostly in times of crisis, war, isolations, and more importantly, or times of uncertainty. The increasingly, of course, an unprecedented impact of the coronavirus and the COVID-19 pandemic on the African continent and economies have left a huge impact in the livelihood and also unequivocally demonstrated that the African continent is ill-prepared, if not at all, in terms of the preparedness and poor response in terms of the pandemic situation. While the African continent has joined the rest of the world to counter the virus, the pandemic has revealed the pitfalls that the African investment in terms of research and development is something that the continent should take into consideration. This is also explained the lack of involvement of African countries in terms of vaccine development as opposed to other clinical trials. Vaccine development is an odious process that involves research and development to identify suitable candidates for further development, efficacy and safety testing, a large diverse population growth. Monitoring during the rollout of the vaccines is a large population of issues that the continent faces. More importantly, none of the vaccines being rolled out today has benefited or has benefited from the research from African continent non-antibodies intellectual property from the continent or involved scientists from any African countries in the scramble for COVID-19 vaccine. African countries are on the bottom of the priority list, strengthening the urgent need for the continent to develop its own capacity and capabilities to make its own vaccine or at least contribute to global vaccine development to ensure that its citizens are, perish are prioritized in future pandemic. If you are new to this channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. If you look at recently how the continent has been struggling to beat up with the needs of the COVID vaccine, this clearly indicates to you that the continent needs to invent usually in terms of research and also making sure that the scientists are focusing on the diseases and issues that may affect the continent in the future. How do we do this in terms of research and investment? Recent data shows that countries like South Africa spent 0.82% of their GDP on research and development in 2019 because of figure, and has since then 432 researchers per million inhabitants. If you contrast that to China, which is 0.7% of their GDP, just over 150 researchers, China has over 2% of the research and development and also they have over 1,000 uh, researchers. Brazil put it into those countries. Russia has just 1.1% and just over 3,000 researchers. Considering Africa, focusing on South Africa in this particular case, South Africa may appear to have more researchers than India per million inhabitants as our research point out. But the amount of research and development funding allocated to those researchers is incomparable, insignificant to the point out as compared to the available uh, availability of the Indian researchers. This partly explains the focus of the Department of Science across the African continent and innovations to actually focus more on the departmental development and research 
within the African continent in terms of technology in different areas. The question many are asking is, the research and development sector in those particular counties we pointed out are more efficient in terms of the output than those in Africa. Perhaps it's as a result of more private companies that is the case of South Africa, for example, clearly state that South Africa is not on par with fellow BRICS countries which we listed out there, group members most of which have vaccines candidate in use or under development. Other countries in around the world are proceeding with this area to make sure that they become more self-sufficient in terms of the vaccines issue, but the continent relies heavily for vaccines that should come in from abroad to meet the needs of its own citizens who are currently struggling in a lot of areas. If you are new to this channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. Moving forward, if one were to use South Africa as a basis for the research and development across the African continent, it is imperative that the African countries double up and focus on developing or developing the capacity to be better prepared for future pandemic. Countries, for example, in comparison, like India, South Korea, and China have demonstrated that the high investment in research and development is critical to spur innovations, increase efficiency, and also productivity in production sectors of, of their own economy to enhance prospects for increased GDP. What should Africa actually copy from these particular things? To date, countries like South Africa and other countries across the Sub-Saharan African region have failed to reach the 1% of their GDP target agreed by the African Union member states and desire minimum to, uh, to expand in terms of research and development. As indicated in the statistics that we pointed out, the EU Science and Technology and Innovation Strategy for Africa, which will drive up to 2024, which places sciences, science, technology and innovation at the epicenter of African socio-economic development and growth, which means if these countries do not meet the basic 1% of their GDP to invest in research across the continent is going to be an issue. Nigeria, Ghana, South Africa, Tanzania, Rwanda and other countries are struggling to beat up with those particular quotas. However, the coming together across the continent could give them the leverage to be able to prepare for future pandemic. If we consider that comparing Africa across the Asian countries in particular, those who have worked a similar journey to what we at the African continent aspire to be suggest that it is imperative to take a longer term approach to innovations and also uh, prioritize key sectors of strategic importance to a country while at the same time putting in place mechanisms to address the challenges of the day. If Africa invested hugely in terms of technology, also in research and development, it could prepare the continent to avoid such pitfalls because the pandemic has exposed the African continent in terms of its uh, COVID uh, situation to meet up with the basic needs. If you consider that many African countries are waking up, which is very late as compared to because they have been waiting for the Western nations to supply them with those vaccines. Of course, the Western nations does have their own challenges. If Africans invested hugely in those areas, could help them. If you are new to this channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. Failure to deliberately invest in innovations or just online would explicitly mean that a country is always in fire fighting mode, of course, and also may disastrously lose the fight against the fire. There is a sufficient evidence that increasing research and development investment in, across the continent would also, in particular, in result increase the intellectual property output for the continent. In particular, patents, which also from backbones of many of the vaccines that are entering the market today. Accordingly, it also not surprising that South Africa's first batch of COVID-19 vaccines came from a Serum Institute in India, which is manufacturing a number of vaccines under a license from Oxford University and also AstraZeneca and also other parties. The patent issue is an area where the other countries have held down the African continent. Africa needs to develop its own priorities to making sure that restricted investment is a priority setting in terms of its own development. Government's investment in research and development has benefited considerably. Consider, for example, in the case of countries like German companies like the biotech, 
which collaborated with Pfizer on the development of its vaccines and received 375 billion from the German government and also 100 million in debt financing from the European Union. As a result of this public subsidy, the Pfizer vaccine will be available to at least lower prices in the European market than in the United States. The United Kingdom government also made available over 65 million pounds funding for the Oxford University AstraZeneca vaccines, in addition to research and funding routinely directed to Oxford University. If Africa set up a priority area, it could help them to fight this particular area to develop their own vaccine. The inability of any of those countries to develop its own vaccines leaves it vulnerable. South Africa has a unique opportunity to point out to lead Africa to ensure that adequate vaccine development and manufacturing capacity for future pandemics. Through investment in biotechnology and pharmaceutical sector, South Africa has one of the most advanced science and technology infrastructure on the continent to evidently by research and development. Of course, most recently, we've seen the African Development Bank pointing out that they're going to be investing huge amount of money to the African research and development area. This is a very important area to spill the continent to move forward. Local research companies like BMI note that South Africa, for example, pharmaceutical market is the single largest on the African continent. Its pharmaceutical spending per capita is also the highest on the continent, looking at just over 69 million. In this particular episode, it's also very clear that investment by governments in genomics and also biotechnology sector over the years would abide actually encourage the African continent to move forward to develop its own pharmaceutical things that will help it support its own population in the years to come. Now, the time to increase investment in research is now. The African continent cannot wait. Generation of other use of intellectual property and address across the continent will help them to tackle these particular areas, not just because they have to focus with other partners, but if Africa sponsors research a lot. Some of its scientists in the future will take part in this particular contribution to make sure that the continent is prioritized when future pandemics come up. And it's a long-term approach is required while it covers research and development and investment into priority areas in terms of the health and biopharmaceutical sector. This should be a match with strategic acquisition of foreign-owned intellectual property and capacities as well as technology transfer and capacity building from countries with vaccines development competencies to bolster the emergency of industries and well as serve the African people in a positive way. In this episode, we are actually highlighting the reason why the continent across uh, from north to south to east to invest heavily in terms of research and development. In closing this particular episode, you've seen the level of scramble across the continent in making sure that they meet the needs of the vaccine. Africa has been left behind and the citizens have not been prioritized in terms of the COVID vaccine. This is the reason why the African governments are waking up so late to tackle this issue. If Africa contributed in terms of the vaccine's production, if Africa contributed heavily in terms of the research, the continent would not be forgotten behind. And as a result of the patent rights and also developmental issues that have slowed down selling those patents to the continent. In this case, Africa needs to rely until the vaccines are being sent to them. This is a wake up call and hopefully the African continent could wake up to prepare itself so its citizens could be prioritized in future pandemic. If you are new to this channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. Hopefully we're able to inform you with regards to the challenges that the African continent faces with regards to the COVID-19 vaccines and also gives an opportunity for the continent to open up some for future issues and fund research and development to include some part of the GDP to fund researchers. So for now, I want to thank you. We encourage you to watch some of our videos on our YouTube channel. We are looking forward to meeting you soon in our next episode. Thank you and we we'll see you soon then. Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs>